What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. And I got some new new for y'all. Y'all probably already heard about it, but my yell. Also, I mentioned a product from this collection when my hair was acting up, doing them braids, when my hair was itching with them braids. I don't know how y'all remember that. Um, I have my yellow organics new mangango collection with me okay so this collection has a shampoo a pre-poo it has a pomade it has a heat protectant it has a deep conditioner like it has everything you will need in a collection okay it also has a setting spray uh, so if you want to do some nice um perm rods or flexi rods girl but in this video I am gonna actually flat iron my own hair. I know the last couple of times I've actually went to the salon, but today I was like, no, Nene got this. Let me show them how to do their own hair at home, okay? So, my hair is already damp. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start off with their exfoliating shampoo. And um, let's get this video started. I'm excited to straighten my hair. Like, I believe in myself. Yeah, I can do this, I can do this. So, let's get this video started. The Magongo Oil Exfoliating Shampoo is perfect for ladies that have a lot of product buildup. So go ahead and grab this if you want to. It's a, a clarifying shampoo, girl. And when you are straightening your hair, you want something that's going to get all of that extra product out so that you can have the best results for your flat ironed hair. Also, too, if you do have color, be mindful with this product because it can fade the color. This product is perfect for ladies that are protein sensitive. This is protein free. I also like the fact that this conditioner is nice and thick, but yet it penetrates the hair, leaving it nice and soft and shiny and moisturized. rinsed it out look at this okay 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 this is good y'all y'all need to get this conditioner i have my organics mangango oil thermal and heat protectant spray this the uh, protective product is a protective product for curly girls who use heat for straightening their hair so we're gonna go ahead and use this so it says spray on wet or dry hair and then style as desired do not ever rinse after using the spray all over, which I do like this spray, it's very lightweight um, and it helps protect my hair when putting heat on it. So before I flat iron, of course I'm going to blow dry my hair. So now I'm using the tension method where you stretch the hair out first and then go down the length of the hair, blow drying it until it can get as straight as you want it to. I did go ahead and use a dimming brush just to stretch it out a little bit more but as you can see, it's getting it pretty stretched. And also the reason why I'm doing this is because I really can't find the comb attachment. I'm just keeping it honest with y'all. I don't know where it's at, I lost it. But I am kind of glad I don't know where it is because this is definitely getting my hair way straighter than it would if I was using a comb attachment. Um, so I definitely would suggest you all to use the brush and the nozzle before flat ironing your hair because it gives me definitely a straighter result. And look at that length. See, we're trying to keep that length, y'all. Look at that. And next, I'll be using my FHI Heat Flat Iron. This is a one inch flat iron. And what I like about it is that I can adjust my temperature. So for this flat iron, I will be having it at about 400 to 425. 
Um, I know a lot of y'all are scared about heat damage, which is definitely understandable. So you can definitely go a little bit lower, maybe 375, but I know for me, I didn't want to do all this work and my hair not last because, you know, my temperature was too low. My hair is thick, so it's going to need uh, just a little bit more heat to keep it straight. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm at about 425 um, with flat in my hair. And then I'm using the chasing method where you get the comb and then chase it down with the flat iron. This flat iron is legit. The products are legit. This flat iron is legit. Like, I love it. Because sometimes, too, you know, you want to be able to do some things at home by yourself just in case you want to save some so money. I definitely here. suggest you to go ahead and get this FHI flat iron if you don't have it already. Um, like I said, it's a one inch. So what's going to help you get some good results when flat ironing your own hair is that you are going in small sections. Take your time when going down the length of your hair. It may be a little bit time consuming, but you're going to get the best results. And as you can see, this is how I'm getting the front of my hair a little bit better. And don't be afraid of that steam that you see coming out the flat iron. My hair is not, you know, frying. Um, it's just the steam from the serum and the heat protectant. Don't worry, girl. We're all clear. It's getting nice and straight. Look at that. Y'all better get this flat iron. Y'all better get this Mayil Magongo oil collection because my hair is popping. Okay? And don't talk about my gray hair. I know y'all see the gray hair. Then my new highlights. Yes. And so also, too, if you're looking at my ends right now, I'm going to do a separate video for this. But I did go ahead and trim it. And so I'll have a different video for that for you all. But just to end this style out, I'm doing a slight bump at the end. Nothing too fancy, just a little bump. This is how I'm doing it. And bow, right there. One more time, uh, bow. And as I said, because the Mangago Oil Collection has great properties in it, it's definitely hydrating the hair, re regenerating the hair, as well as restoring the hair and protecting my hair while I'm heat styling. So I don't have to worry like, man, will I have heat damage? No ma'am, no ham, I won't. And also too, make sure that you're not going over your hair excessively with your flat iron. If it is messed up, go ahead and try to pin curl it or wrap it just to save the style. But if that doesn't work, definitely don't go back to heat. Try to put it in a low bun, a high bun, maybe some flat twists. Um, or if you just want to start over and just go back curly, you can do that too. But avoid that extra heat, girl. So really quick, I want to show you my nighttime routine. So I like to pin my pin curl my hair the first night, and then I go ahead and wrap it the rest of the night. Um, and I use my Organics Magongo Oil Pomade to Oil Treatment. I'm purposely only adding it to the ends because my scalp has its own natural oils that come on out. So I don't want to add anything. Um, excessively so I like it also too because it has sweet almond oil in it it has safflower oil it has cocoa butter in it girl even has babasu oil you know they about that babasu oil life and of course mangongo oil and I know I missed that piece of hair right there I just didn't feel like doing it but I went ahead and put a scarf around my edges just to keep that laid down and then I'll use my big bonnet and put it right on top and it's time for bed well, of course, I got to wash my face and brush my teeth. But then it's time for bed, girl. I hope you enjoyed my results. I definitely love how my hair is looking. Y'all see the bounce. Y'all see the movement. And y'all see the length, okay? And y'all see the shine that the Magongo collection from my Ill Organics gave me. If you want to try this collection out, which I do suggest for you to do, go ahead and visit www.myillorganics.com, girl. Go ahead and hook it on up. And if you like this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.